This is my 2005 Yamaha V-Star 650. I just bought it and I'm actually very impressed with it. Very impressed. It's got the uh, leather saddlebags on the side there. Uh, the only real custom work that's been done to it is it's got custom exhaust, so it doesn't have stock exhaust. Stock, these bikes are a little bit quiet for my taste. Uh, but with this, it makes it, you hear it coming, that's for sure. So it's a 650. And I love it. I live in the country, so uh, I do a lot of highway driving. And it handles the highway just fine. The only thing I could say to critique it would be that uh, it feels like it needs another gear. It's a five speed and it feels like a sixth gear would just be a little bit of help on the highway. It'll just get the RPMs down a little bit lower, but that's just me. Uh, it, it handles it just fine. Uh, you can cruise at about 70 miles an hour, uh, no problem. Uh, it does have rev limiters on it, so you know when you're going over. I've heard people take these bikes up to like 85 miles an hour, which is 130, 140 kilometers an hour. I'm not going to be taking it that fast. I'm more of a cruiser. I traded in my sport bike, which was a Honda CBR 500R. Uh, it was my first bike. I traded or I sold that and I bought this because I wanted something a little slower, you know? I'm more of a cruiser type guy. I just want to putt through town. Maybe go riding with some friends, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the ride, enjoy the, the wind on my face. And I don't like to go fast anyway, so I drive a truck for a living, as you might have noticed from all my other content on this channel. So it, it's not worth it for me to risk getting tickets and getting in trouble for going fast. This bike keeps me out of trouble. It does everything I, I need it to. This comes with the windshield, got a little windshield fanny pack on here, which is very handy. I keep like things I need to access quicker in here, like my wallet and stuff that you need to access you know when you're fueling up uh this particular bike i'm in canada if you didn't know that by the way if you're just tuning into this video uh this bike was bought in the u.s obviously and uh, it's in miles an hour it's got 9,051 miles on it i love this this uh this paint job this is beautiful blue and these beautiful flames they're not like over the top they're just enough to, when you get up close, you're like, oh, that's nice. So this bike already did have uh, these saddlebags on here. They're leather, but they got like a hard bottom on them. I like it better than the full hardcover saddlebags myself. I, I think it looks a little better. I like the look of it better anyways. Uh, I just had this bike polished today and I had to go down some gravel to get to our land here. And clearly I'm going to have to wipe the bike down again when I get home. That's fine. That's fine but it has plenty of power. Uh, riding two up on the freeway, on the highway, the bike will do it, no problem. It'll do it all day. Uh, you're not gonna reach 80 miles an hour all day, maybe if you want to. But like I said, it feels like there should be another sixth gear. But uh, if you just like cruising at, you know, 70 miles an hour, it's just fine, it's just fine. Yeah. I mean, if you wanna go any faster than that, I mean, if you live in Texas or, you know, out west in the U.S. where the speed limits are 80 mile an hour or higher, yeah, you might want to get the 1100, the 1300 to keep up with traffic then. But where I live, speed limits are 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour. So this is, this is plenty. And the previous owner was a co-worker of mine and they kept it in immaculate shape. It's absolutely great. I'll let you hear the uh, custom exhaust on here. If you guys are curious. We're going here, the, the ignition is on the side here on these bikes. It is carbureted, so there's a choke on the other side. When the bike is cold, uh, there's a choke right here. You just pull it out, let the bike run for a little bit, warm up just a touch, and then push it back in. The fuel is right here, fuel and reserve. reserve tank this bike does not have a fuel gauge which uh, my CBR had a fuel gauge and it was nice nice having that but I always uh, reset my tripometer now when I fuel and I've still got to see how far I can go on a tank of fuel but uh, you know once I run out I've got the reserve one of these days we'll figure that out so it's got Vance and Heinz 
Jim's exhaust. Which makes it sound just lovely. <laughs> it sounds pretty mean. So yeah, that's a little tour of my 2005 Yamaha V-Star 650. And if you're wondering, is the 650 big enough? I think it is. It depends what you want to do with it. But for what I need it for, highway driving in the city, it's no problem. It's, it's pretty light, it's pretty nimble, and it, it'll serve the job just well. It will hit highway speeds just fine and hold it there all day. So if you're looking at getting this, this, is, this would be a great starter bike. Uh, this is my second bike, uh, but I pretty much, I sold my CBR for the same price pretty much that I paid for this. So I just swapped by, I just wanted to get it onto a cruiser. I don't have money to buy a brand new bike right now. Uh, my next bike maybe might be a Harley Davidson, but if you want to get into Harleys, you know, you need to uh, bring cash. And I didn't want to spend any cash. We're planning on building a house here right now. So I can't spend uh, boatloads of money right now. So I got into this cruiser and pretty much just swapped it for my other one. I really like it. If you'd like to know more about it, like what it sounds like on the road and uh, what it's like on the highway, you can subscribe to my channel here. I make uh, almost daily videos uh, where we do a lot of trucking, a lot of motorcycling in the summer now. And uh, you can see it in my other videos there. Just go through the list. I think I have almost uh, 2,300 videos. Almost 2,500 videos on the internet right now for you, so. <laughs> and they're not all like this. They're mostly just vlogs of my daily life through whatever I'm doing, so subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you out there.